So there's this thing called cross-check. It was instituted, uh, uh, basically, the guy, the Secretary of State in uh, Kansas. Kansas. And uh, so he got the voting rolls from all the other uh, Republican states. He, had, mm -hmm. he got them to send it to him. Mm -hmm. And if somebody's name appeared on his voting rolls and there was a similar name on someone else, they would just cross them off. So you vote twice. Okay, right? so here's how it started. Two years ago, Donald Trump started giving speeches saying there are millions of people voting twice in America. Millions of people voting many times. I have it in my film. You mm -hmm. see it. This is not new. Mm -hmm. Okay. He said, oh, and where did he get this? He got this from this guy, Chris Kobach. Mm -hmm. Now, if you followed him a few weeks ago, they kept saying, where'd you get this millions of illegal voters? Finally, the White House said, the numbers come from Chris, Chris Kobach. Kobach. In my film, I literally jumped this guy at a, at a ice cream social in Kansas, in Wichita, mm -hmm. you know, with the evidence. What they said is they had a, a suspect list of people voting many times. Millions, seven million people are on the suspect list. And I said, give me the names of the suspects. I'd like, let me see who these ne'er-do-wells are. They said, it's all confidential. But you can see by my hat, I'm, a, I'm an investigative reporter. <laughs> so I got, I got the, I actually got the list. I got these seven million names, millions of names. And there are names like James Brown. Believe it or not, there was a guy named James Brown who voted in Atlanta. There's another guy named James Brown who voted in Motown in Michigan. They said that's the same James Brown who voted twice, so they knocked him off the voter rolls and they killed his ballot. Now, in fact, 288 guys named James Brown in Atlanta who voted in another state, or are they saying it's the same guy? Mm -hmm. They're saying it's the same guy because it's James Brown. Now, you'd say, well, hey, wait a minute, James Brown is a common name, not for a Republican, okay? Uh -huh. And names like Jose Garcia. There, by the way, 836,000 people in America named Garcia, and a lot of them are named Jose. And they're saying it's the same guy if they find Jose Garcia. And so they just in knock Michigan, him off the ballot. And, and the reason they can do this is because they're in control of the elections. They're the Republican secretary. In 30, of the state. Sec in 30 states. Yes. In 30 states. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so they, they did this. They, we figured in Rolling Stone, we got really some top statisticians. And uh, they said about 1.1 million people lost their vote, overwhelmingly uh, voters of color. And especially, you know what the new group is? Asians? No kidding. So what happened? Here's what happened. I'm a genius. Well, what's happened is that, and here's why, and I have a thing called the voting gangnam style in my film. Because Asians have started, they used to vote Republican. Mm -hmm. But now they start voting like they've turned black. And in the film, I actually have these Asians who turn black. Well, it's, but different, it's, it's different based on the Asian, right? Yeah. So, uh, but about 75% of, of the Asian Americans vote Democratic now. So they're starting and, to do that And today. so what happens is, dig this. You know how many people are named David Kim? A lot. So every every I David, personally know like eight of them. Just even Dr. David Kim, especially. Mm -hmm. David Kim, mm -hmm. if your name's David Kim, you your vote probably went in the garbage if you were in one of these swing Republican states like Michigan, um, uh, in Michigan, in South uh, Carolina, in North Carolina, in Ohio. But you're saying that Chad Kensington would not be cross checked. Right. right. And or um, Charles Koch, there's only one in America. Okay. I looked ah. it up. Seriously. Really? Chris Kobach, there's one in America. D uh, Donald Trump, there's one in America. But David Kim, Jose Rodriguez, um, James Brown, Joe Black. So you get the gimmick when they're using common names. And by the way, so, two million of the names mismatched middle names. They said yes. James Brown Jr. and James Brown Sr. were the same guy. Uh, so I'm not kidding you. Let me ask and this was, this, I reported in Rolling Stone. I reported all over the world, but in the United States, so let me uh, ask you about that because so let me real quick in Virginia, they were doing the cross check in Virginia, and then they had a switch of state Parties, government. Yeah. So the Democrats took over. They stopped doing the cross check. She pulled out Virginia. Right, she's pulling out Virginia exactly. Yeah. So that's and so that this changes the election. This changes. This bells go off in my head now. Right now, it seems like the Democrats are willing to start a nuclear war over this last election, but they won't challenge it in court, even though you and I both know it was stolen. Why? I don't know. The Congressional Black Caucus took 50,000 names from an Asian American group called 18 Million Rising, and we dropped off 50,000 names, signatures like that, and um, Congressman Hastings of the Congressional Black Caucus provided all my documentation of the Justice Department and begged them to investigate. Except now you've got Jeff Sessions, so now you have an injustice department. 
So don't expect much there. So we're starting, um, you know, uh, people are watching my film, and so what's happening, I'm working with a lot of the uh, groups like the, the Civil Rights Law Center and uh, ACLU and others. What we're going to be doing is bringing actions in various states to try to bust this thing open and stop it. But the, at the moment, we don't. there's no help from the Dem Democratic Party. So I don't, I don't want the help from the Democratic Party. People have got to protect their own vote. Don't, don't expect the Democrats to protect your it, vote. They're not. They never did. They didn't do it in 2000. They didn't do it in 2004 with, uh, in Ohio. In Ohio. Right? It themselves. happened again in Ohio, right? Yeah. So, and, and then so I would bring that up, because I read the a thing by Robert uh, Kennedy Jr. He wrote yeah. about the yeah. Ohio thing, too. This I don't is know. my film. Yeah. Okay, so I don't yeah, know. we wrote together for Rolling Stone. Oh, that's probably where yeah. I read it. Yeah. And so I would bring it up, and people would say I was crazy. And I'm like, no, it's in the... Well, you might be crazy, but it's true. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. And, it, you know, it's just like the whole thing, like, you know, when you see Bernie Sanders filling stadiums and everything, and he's losing, that's just like, there's no, it doesn't what make happens? sense. Yeah, so what's happened is that the dark secret of America is we don't count all the votes. We don't let everyone vote. We still have Jim Crow voting, and it's time that that stuff ended. And we have we need a new voting rights movement, a new civil rights movement, and that's well, what I'm hopefully with my information. I'm just look. I'm just a reporter. Yeah. All I can do is give you the documents and information, but I'll dig it out. The problem is, is that, as you know, investigative reporting almost is is, is, dead. is gone. disappeared, vanished in yeah. America. It's missing in action. We're doing so I have funding to, for I mean, it here. I mean, I have to be in a rock and roll magazine to get my stuff out. Or yeah. Get, but you know, in, in Europe, we're still doing that work. So what we need now is well, one, people have to unstupid themselves. I hope go 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 watch the film. And, uh, or read the book. Until Patriot Act 3, you can read the book, The Best Democracy Money Can Buy. Nobody and, reads anymore. Yeah, well. I, I wrote a book, nobody read it. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> this is the movie, and it's all about, Your you mom know, read it, she told me. Uh, yeah, my mom did read it. Hmm? I, uh, I, I was, you know, I was so reluctant to tackle this, but something has to be done. Hey, are you sick and tired of corporate Democrats? So are we. So why not become a member of the Young Turks and help us say no to corporate money? If you become a member, it helps support shows like the Aggressive Progressives who are pissed off at corporate Democrats. Go to tytnetwork.com slash join. It's only $10 a month. It helps keep us independent and keep bringing you the truth.